Welcome back to Mackay Ford, the largest family-owned dealership in Texas, over 40 years running. And today, I'm here to show you the new 2022 Expedition. This is the brand new Timberline edition for the 2022 Expedition. There is one other new mid design for this body style for Ford, and that's gonna be the limited stealth package. Both of these engine configurations are putting out 440 horsepower at 510 foot pounds of torque. And oh, by the way, it can tow 9,300 pounds. That's best in class over all makes and manufacturers. That's Wagoneer, that's Toyota Sequoia, that's Tahoe, Suburban, we're beating all of them. And by the way, it runs on 87 octane. Everybody knows right now gas prices are crazy. We're in Houston, Texas. This is where oil and gas is made. And we have $4.50 gas, right? And it only looks like it's climbing. So when you're looking for a vehicle that can go off-road, this is the one. Timberline, brand new design. You've got our C-channel headlight. This is a brand new front fascia here. It's boasting this orange accenting and you'll find it throughout the vehicle. Uh, you've also got the Rocky Mountains showing that this is an off-road capable vehicle at 10.6 inches. It beats everyone in ground clearance. The vehicle has skid plates from the Raptor. So all underneath of the vehicle, this is basically a Raptor SUV. So if you're a family that likes to off-road, this is the one for you. If you'd like to get out there, get in the nature, get out there and experience new things, this is the vehicle for you. Up in the front, you have this usable air duct. That is to push air around the vehicle and push it to the calipers. In case you're doing some heavy down road, uh, downhill braking, it's gonna force that air to cool those calipers while you guys are driving. In the front of this vehicle, as you can see, you've got a gray matte finish on the grill in your Platinums and your Limiteds, these are gonna be chrome, kind of give you a little bit more bling, but in a stealth package or, or in your Timberline, you're gonna want that nice aggressive look. And then this one's also uh, sporting the black oval look. All right guys, over here on the side of the vehicle, I just wanna show you this subtle touch here from Ford. We've got this matte gray finish on the grill for the Timberline package, and it also extends to the roof rack on this, just moving the flow from the front to the back of the vehicle with really nice elegance. You've got a 33-inch Goodyear tire on an 18-inch wheel. It's black aluminum painted, and it's also got that Rocky Mountain badging inside, so you definitely know that this is the vehicle that's gonna off-road best for you. Also, on all four corners of this vehicle, you've got Ranchero suspension, so it give you that nice high lift, so you can go over all the rocks and skid blades on your Raptor skid plates underneath of this vehicle. Move it along to the side. You've got your 360 camera. Uh, camera looking all over the side of the view of this car. And when we go inside, I'll show you how you can use those cameras to, to navigate through obstacles while you're traveling off-road. Over here on the side, sideboards are elevated. I gotta keep you in with that 10.6 inch ground clearance so you can take all the rugged paths you guys and your family wanna do. You gotta get out there and enjoy the world, right? Coming on over to the side, it's known on the street when you're driving this vehicle, you'll be able to see this Timberline badging with the Rocky Mountains badge right there for you guys. And then you've also got that gray matte finishing roof rail up here. So you can put your luggage up there because this package does not come in a max. I have to mention that it does not come in a max package. A lot of folks like the max for the extra cargo room. This one is just gonna be your standard expedition size. So the utilization of this rack could be extremely important to you folks, should you need it. All right guys, moving on to the back of the expedition Timberline package. You've got this beautiful, nice lipped 
spoiler, so you're increasing your aerodynamics, not getting that tunneling effect. When you have a trailer back here, it's pushing off, pushing past the trailer, unless of course you have one of those 10 feet tall trailer, 20 feet tall trailers, of course that's not gonna help you out, but it's gonna do its best when you got the lower trim trailer, so it just pushes that air off, giving you the most fuel efficiency possible. That's definitely something Ford thinks about when it comes to their customers, is getting you guys the best aerodynamics on the vehicle so you can optimize your fuel economy. Moving on to the side, for the Timberline Edition, you've got this beautiful Expedition lettering outlined in that orange accenting that we talked about that's up in the front, comes along to the back. And as in the front, you've got this matte gray finished banner that runs from the front grill over top of the roof rails and into the back to give you that beautiful, elegant design, just wrapping the entire design around the vehicle. And as you'll see when we move into the inside of the vehicle, you've got beautiful orange stitch seats and dashboard that also takes this orange unique accenting onto the inside. Not exclusive to this particular vehicle, you've got a Stealth Package Limited that has that 400 and 40 horsepower and the 510 foot-pounds of torque as well as this, that's towing up to 9,300 pounds. But every trim model from XL all the way to the top, max capable towing, 9,000 pounds with the heavy tow package, all right? And I'm gonna show you folks where you hook up your receiver. You're gonna pull this cover off the rear of the vehicle. Real simple, easy and clean. Go ahead and set it down. You've got a two inch receiver right here underneath of this cover. And then you're gonna have a new style trailer hookup. There's also adapter on the inside for those four pin connections, but Ford also thought of that too. And so they gave you a four pin connection. That way, if you have an older trailer that isn't really designed or up to, up to date with this newer vehicle, you can utilize that as well. Now, just like F-150 folks, as we mentioned before, this coming down, you can monitor tires, you can set your blind spot monitoring for the length and width of that trailer, 14 feet wide by 33 feet deep. So you can pretty much put just about any trailer you want on this vehicle. You can monitor it with blind spot monitoring. You can monitor the tire pressures and temperature. It's a great option having it inside this vehicle. Um, go ahead and put this back. It's very simple. You just find your marks and you pop her in. Very, very quick and easy. Doesn't take much work at all. Now, moving along to the side, you've got a poppable rear glass back here. It's gonna be a button right here. There's a little arrow on the side of this, uh, on the side of this banner. Click that button, pop the rear glass. If you've got some really long two by fours or if you want your dog to hang out here, stick their head out. You know how all dogs like the air, right? They love it. So you got big pieces of equipment that you need to stick through here um, or just have it ventilate. No problem. You can pop the rear glass on this vehicle. And then when I pop this rear hatch, it likes to be closed by the button on the inside. If you're gonna use power lift gate, put your foot directly in the center, it'll pop, all right? It also likes to be closed that way, but it is not exclusive to that. You can click the button and close it. But if you want to close it via your foot, you can do that only when activating it by foot originally, all right? You can also pop it with two X on the key. So you just click it twice as demonstrated here. And it'll pop that rear hatch for you. And I'll show you guys on the inside, if you forgot to close it, you can close it on the dashboard, which makes it really convenient for those folks that just have really busy life and a big giant family, which these cars are designed for. Big adults per every single row, big families, a lot of gear, stick it all in here. You forget, you can push it on the inside. We're working on the lift gate, and let's say you have a garage door that's really, really low, like your garage ceiling is, is pretty low, it's lower than the standard. What you can do is actually grab the lift gate, pull it down, and then you're gonna click the lift gate close button and hold it for about 30 to 90 seconds, and then you'll hear an audible ping inside the vehicle. Now what I can do is I can close that lift gate, saving that position, and I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. And it should stop exactly where I previously set it, which is right here. Obviously, if I want to reset that, I can push it all the way back up, click and hold that close button till you hear the audible ping, which it just happened. And now it's set to the uh, full open uh, for the lift gate here. Moving on towards the inside 
I want to talk about the reverse cargo management system. So a lot of folks, um, they're, they're just not aware that they have it in their vehicle. So starting from 2018, moving on through into current, uh, we have a reverse cargo management system. So you actually have these little tabs right here, one on either side of the vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and open those for you now. And you're going to grab this. Uh, you're going to grab this shelf, lift it up, and you're going to flip it over. You're going to lock it into place. And so what that does is since you don't have or potentially don't have a max, it's going to allow us to have ample space underneath and above creating a shelf for the vehicle so I can pack more gear inside of the vehicle. Again, I still have roof rack and roof rails, so I can certainly use those if I have an abundance amount of space that I need for, for gear and whatnot. I've got tons and tons of room up there on the top of the vehicle to do so. So this is your reverse cargo management system. And actually, since we just lifted that up, we can actually see that your tire jack system is just underneath of this plate that says tire jack. And you've got your jack location in here as well as your gas funnel. So seeing how this vehicle is a capless gas system, when you need to fill it up by a gas can, this is absolutely crucial. This must be inserted into the gasless cap filter, and then you are going to be able to pour the gasoline from a gas can. If you don't use this, you'll make a huge mess. It'll go all over the side of your car and you'll be extremely frustrated. So make sure you always keep this with the jack so that way you always know where it's at. And the jack assembly is in here. There are mounting points on the frame of this vehicle on the driver side and the passenger side for the front half and or the back. Um, and I'll show you where those mounts are in just a few minutes. Uh, moving along, I'll go ahead and pop this cover back in here. Just snaps right on down. And then you got your reverse cargo management system packed down. I'm gonna go ahead and place those flat. So over here, I can power fold any row in the vehicle, giving us the most amount of floor covered space possible. So if I have large items that I wanna put inside this vehicle and I need a huge floor that's completely level to do so, I can do it in the Ford Expedition. So let me come on over here and let me show you these buttons. So I've got uh, a 3L that's gonna fold this third row. So three meaning third and L meaning left side. And then I have a 3R which is gonna fold the right side of it. Now I do have the headrests up. You don't have to worry, they're gonna automatically fold. So. And I've also got this middle button right here that's gonna fold both sides simultaneously at the same time. And uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. So I'll click the button. The headrests are gonna snap closed, bringing the floor to uh, completely flat once it stops. And so you have a completely flat third row there. Now, one thing I wanna demonstrate on this third row because I will tell you the second row folds as well. However, it is a manual lift back up. So if I have a really big object and I'm carrying two by fours and I just need to click three, close it, and then click two, they'll all drop and I'll be able to slide it all back. I'll be able to slide it all inside the vehicle then close the tailgate. Um, but if I don't need the second row, I don't need to fold it because it is a manual lift, all right? So coming back up, I'm gonna just click them both. And I wanna show you that you can actually stop it halfway through and it will go back down should you have accidentally clicked the wrong button and you intended to click number two. So clicking on the second row, I can just fold both at the same time or I can click the left or the right. Again, that's labeled 2L for the left seat and 2R for the right seat, all right? I'm just gonna go ahead and tap both of them at the same time, fold them both down, and now I have roughly 12 feet of covered floor space that I can put just about anything that fits floor to ceiling inside this vehicle and it'll be completely covered. I can carry just about anything you can think of inside of there. Lumber, mulch, whatever you've got in, in mind for your vehicle, you can probably fit it inside this Ford Expedition. All right, folks, moving on over to the side of this Timberline 22 Expedition, as mentioned before, this one, coming from the Bronco has trail turn assist. Now, many of you may ask, what is trail turn assist? I have no idea. Trail turn assist allows you to lock this rear tire by applying the e-brake and you turn the wheel and the vehicle will pivot around it. You can make easily 270 degree turns in those tight hairpin off-roading situations using this technology. So when you enable 
trail turn assist. If you want to turn left or right, even if your rear differential is locked up, it's going to unlock it, it'll lock this wheel, and you'll drive right around it, giving you the most ergonomical movements that you can use in off-road capability. Moving on to the inside of the vehicle, and I'm going to tell you guys a real quick story that I had with a customer, ordered a 2022 Tahoe for their kids. These are family-oriented vehicles. They're big, big vehicles, full-size vehicles. So inside this front door, what she told me is the reason why she bought an Expedition is simply on your Tahoes and your Suburbans, there's a lock and unlock button here in the second row. And her two-year-old kid actually locked her out of the vehicle. So she had to get police and fire to unlock the vehicle for her. But it's not possible on the Expedition. So there's no power lock and unlock per the second row on Ford Expedition, which is great when you have your kids in the back. And I wanna show you this other great feature. So while you have your kids in boosters and every single chair I should mention has anchors for booster seats and car seats, this one is gonna save you from going to the chiropractor, all right? Tip and slide technology. You're gonna reach back here, you're gonna grab this handle and you're gonna tip and slide the vehicle's seat forward. That allows you to keep the car seat in there indefinitely. You gotta put your parents back there. You might wanna put some other kids back there. You might have a kid in middle school and you might have a baby. So they got their friends getting in the car and then you got the baby seat right there. Get the friends in the car, close it, get the baby in the car, no problem. Easy for you, stop going to the chiropractor. Awesome solution. All right, folks, so moving around to the front, talking about that lock and unlock access, if your child was able to get out of their car seat, get out of their seat, jump in the front while the car's running or not, your phone's in it, because you can use your phone to lock and unlock, start, stop the vehicle. Ford exclusive keyless entry code access. It's only exclusive to Ford and Lincoln. You can't get it on any other maker model out there. So if any of that were to happen, use your key code, enter the vehicle. In fact, with this key code, what's really cool, a lot of folks actually don't know this and I'd love to tell you about it. If I put that key inside the vehicle, my phone in the vehicle, out of sight, out of mind, I can lock it by this keypad and you can't just grab the door handle and open it up from anywhere. You have to use the keypad to enter the vehicle. How is this a good feature? If you're fishing, if you're taking your kids tubing, if you're taking your kids to a water park where you don't want your phone or your keys or anything that can get damaged by the water, you can put all your stuff safely inside this vehicle and actually lock it in the center console or glove box if you choose to. Use the key code and you can leave those items inside the vehicle without anyone being able to access it except for you. All right, folks, one thing I'm gonna show you here is the Ford key fob for the intelligent keyless entry. Uh, to remote start this fob, I get a lot of questions on this, so it's gonna be lock, lock, start, start, and the vehicle will start right up. It's kind of a timely matter, so you kinda of gotta do it in that pace if you want the vehicle to start first time. And then if you click the 2X one time, it'll shut the vehicle off. I know other makes and manufacturers, you can lock the vehicle up and you'll click the auto start button and hold it down and it'll start up. What I'm finding is folks are telling us that they're starting the car on the other side of the parking lot on accident by pushing that button from in their pocket. So one thing, uh, thankfully Ford and Lincoln thought of is to make sure that you click the remote start button twice in order to enable that feature. All right guys, welcome on into the new 22 Expedition. This is the Timberline and it is boasting a 15.5 inch display as well as a digital dash instrument cluster. It's 12.3 inches and we've got 15.5 on this side. We've also got this tactile knob right here for the volume control. It is very beautiful in how its function and operation is. Going along the dash, you've got a B&O stereo system in this one. This is 12 speakers. In Platinum and King Ranch, you can get 22 speakers in that vehicle. This screen will also be in, that, in those two trim lines, the King Ranch and the Platinum. You can also get it in the limited stealth package, which most people, uh, I think, are really excited to see and test drive that one. Uh, going across this dashboard right here, you have this beautiful, elegant leather uh, embroidered into the dashboard you have the orange stitching that we've seen from the outside of the vehicle as well as you've got some of that orange unique accenting going on going across the dash and all the way wrapping back around it's extremely exquisite and then coming through 
into your steering wheel where it is also stitched in the orange accenting as well as all the seats going from the driver and passenger all the way back the door paneling you've got this beautiful leather wrapped uh, door panel that's just absolutely beautiful it is very very plush premium premium leather uh, one thing you'll absolutely love to see is in the timberline it's a cypress green leather it is really 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 dark green you almost can't tell until you're looking at the dashboard and then you see the blacks with the dark green and it's almost like your eyes play a trick on you so it's really really cool it's bringing some of that dark green nature interior in, or exterior that you would see out in the nature to the interior of the car giving the, this more rugged off-road appearance and feel to the vehicle all right guys we're here in the second row of the new 2022 ford expedition and i just want to show you how much room is in here i am all of five nine i have about eight inches in front of me i can actually scoot forward more if i'd like to and that gives me about three more inches before i touch this front chair with my knees and then i can go ahead and recline this chair if i'd like to to get extra comfortable back here and as well as i can slide it back if i almost want to just lounge out cross my legs and just enjoy myself back here there's a ton of, of room back here in addition i have two usb ports back here i have a 110 outlet back here it's heated seats i can control my ac and one thing i absolutely love although we do have this big giant sunroof up here what's really great about expedition is these these down facing ac vents and heating vents so they're going to force air down on top of your children's head because the head is one of the places that you want to cool down and being that it's so t uh, hot in texas it's really going to keep those babies in those car seats nice and cool keep them nice and temperature controlled that's one thing i absolutely love about expedition it's not coming out towards the chest of you it's coming down blowing on your head keeping you nice and cold um, in addition to this I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump in the back and I'm going to show you that there's two USBs back there and you can also recline the third row which is excellent you can put mom dad you can put a six footer back there probably a six foot three person back there very comfortably and everyone can fit in this car no matter what your size is no matter how big your family is you can fit everyone inside this car and they can all be super super comfortable and relax and lounge so let me go ahead and show you that right now all right, folks, and so now we're back here in the third row. Again, I've got plenty of leg room. I've got about three to five inches before I touch this second row. And I've got uh, a recline button over here that I can recline these two seats with me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press it right now. And back we go. Tons of more extra space back here. Now I can really lounge and get super comfortable back here. I can recline this seat independently. I'll go ahead and push that now and i've got two usbs and i have a 12 volt port back here there's three cup holders there's two on my side one on the other up in that second row there's a total of six cup holders in that second row that's an ungodly amount of cup holders you've got four on each door panel and two on the center console so for all the cups that you may have or all the drinks you might have in your in, inside your vehicle, you can definitely find a spot for one of them. Back here in the back, we've got three and I've got all the power I need. So for those long road trips where you need to charge those tablets or you need to charge those phones, keep them folks occupied so those phones and, and, and tablets don't die, you can certainly do that all back here in the 22 Ford Expedition. So now you can see why the all new redesigned 2022 Expedition just completely obliterates all of its competition. With Mack Ike Ford serving the Houston area for over 40 years, you can rest assured you're gonna get that great Mack Ike feeling. Please contact myself, Nathan Wood, or the sales team here at Mack Ike Ford. And just remember, we're the number one volume dealership in the nation right here in Houston, Texas. So if you have any questions or if you have any comments, please link those down below. Hit the bell icon so you can get those notifications. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.